This one's called The Little Turtle's Big Adventure. This is a very old book. It's been very loved, but it's still a good one. Okay. Beside a pond lived a little turtle. Every day he sat on a log and took long naps in the warm sun. He could watch mice scamper. He could hear birds twitter and frogs grump from the lily pad. Every night the turtle pulled his head in and feet and tail inside his shell and went to sleep. The pond was just the right place for a little turtle to live. It's right here. One morning, a rumble like thunder woke the little turtle. Men were steam with steam shovels and bulldozers dozers were working in the clover fields. The machines pushed over trees, they dug up clover, they tore down hills and filled up holes. The machines made so much noise that the turtle couldn't hear the birds or frogs. Closer and closer came the machines. Finally, they reached the very edge of the pond. The machi machines splashed mud all over the turtle. He had to hurry off to his log to hide in the weeds. He's over here. But the big machines did not stop at the pond. The steam shovels began throwing loads of dirt right into the water. Frogs hopped off through the clover. Birds scolded and flew away. Mice twitched their whiskers and scurried off after the frogs. The bulldovers covered the turtle with the dust from his noise to his tail. And he's right there. When the noise stopped, the little turtle peeked out through the weeds. He was all alone. The pond was gone. Soon, new machines began to arrive. They made everything flat and smooth. They were building a road. Before long, the road was finished. Now there was nothing to watch but cars and trucks. There was nothing to hear but beeping and honking. At night, the little turtle couldn't fall asleep. He could stay here no longer. He had to find a new home. Early one morning, the turtle started out. He tried living in a field, but the grass was too tall. He tried living on a hill, but the hill was too windy. He tried living in a forest, but the forest was dark and damp. There was no place for the little turtle to warm himself in the sun. The turtle looked all summer. Nowhere could he find a new home. Oh, right there. Autumn came. Cold winds blew, leaves from the trees. Bl birds flew south, but the little turtle kept on looking. At last winter came, snow fell, icicles hung from the trees, the turtle could go no further. He dug into the mud and shut himself inside his shell. Lying deep beneath the snow and frozen mud, the little turtle slept. Finally, warm rain melted the snow, spring came, a little, the little turtle crawled out of the mud and stretched. He still had no home. There was nothing to do but keep looking. Every day, the turtle walked. He saw more forest and more hills and more fields, but nowhere could he find a place that looked just right for the little turtle. Then, one day, 
A boy saw the turtle. The turtle had never seen the boy before. Before, there was no place for a little turtle," said the the boy. "said and he picked up the turtle. Let's try that again. There is no place for a little turtle," the boy said. And he picked the turtle up and carried him down the shady path. The turtle hid inside his shell. He had never been carried before. After a while, the boy stopped and put the turtle down. Slowly, the turtle peeked out of his shell. He was sitting beside a pond. It was a good pond too. Frogs grumped, and birds twittered. Mice scurried about. For a long time, the little turtle sat on a flat rock. Then he did what turtles do when they are happy. He closed his eyes and took a long nap in the warm sun. He had found a new home at last. The end.